Welcome back you guys, my name is Graham, where today's game I'm going to be playing, it's called Psych Before, and we're out with Murray, because we sort of have to be, and yeah, I'm starting out here just because it's a lot easier to just already be out here, because wow, the loading times in this game take forever to do, like, I understand, like, loading times have to, like, be loaded into the game, and, like, stuff has to be places, but... It just takes forever for this game to be loaded in, and can I not do that? Where, where do I need to go? Okay, so I just follow my little arrow that's around the, around uh, Murray and everything, so... Ah, uh, good lord. I should be very, very, very careful, even though Murray isn't careful. E. Alright, thanks to the bug in Toothpick's office, we have a pretty clear idea of what's going on. Toothpick plans on moving the stolen gold out of the mine using his special train. Unfortunately, that train is now also being turbocharged by our van. And need I mention that we're stranded in time unless we recover it? Well, anyway, it's useless to go after the train in the mine. Toothpick will have stepped up security since our escape, and the place will be crawling with guards. We're going to have to hit that train <coughs> while it's rolling, but first, we're going to have to catch it, and we'll do that by diverting its route. After surveying the rail system, I've determined there are three key track switches we will need to throw, and Toothpick has entrusted the keys to three of his toughest henchmen, Wildman Wiesner, Frenchy Lestache, and Red Eye Robles. Furthermore, these guys keep the keys around at all times. The good news is that during the Toothpick Appreciation Festival, there are a number of contests, and all of them will be competing. Murray, I took the liberty of entering you in the Bare Knuckle Brawl Contest. Wildman is the defending champion, and he's sure to have the key on his person. Sly, I hope you're feeling fast, because you're going to be competing in the crookedest race in the West, the Toothpick 500. Frenchy happens to be the defending champ, so it's a sure bet it's his time that you'll have to beat. Carmelita, you'll be up against Red Eye in the shooting contest. As the defending champ, he keeps the trophy close by, with the third key inside. Now let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. Alright, listen up, you flea bags. This here's the annual Toothpick Brawlathon. Ain't no rules, except if you want a shot at the champ, you gotta fight your way through the race first. Looks like we got ourselves a sucker. Yeah, I mean challenger. So let's get on with it. Fighting out of the pink corner from parts unknown. Weighing more than he should. The challenger. I see what I need to do, I see what I need to do, not too difficult, get it, so I just have to make sure that I do this correctly and I'm able to do it, I get it, I just have to wail on these, okay, so do I have any abilities or like what, like, does it say like what abilities um he has or like, okay, so this is, okay, so yeah, it does tell you what abilities he has, there's a new gadget, grid and everything for each character so that makes sense I can see now why they left this up to like a good challenge because you just have to keep hitting. If I don't get hit by the other contenders, then that would be good. I just need to keep hitting. Nobody sucker punches the Murray. Yo, yo, friend, my escape. Hey, KO, you got it, Murray. Now get the key. Be careful, Sly. This race is dangerous. They say it's called the 500, 
because that's how many racers have lost their lives! Uh. Also, the course has several checkpoints that you'll need to reach in time to stay in the race! Speaking of which, the only way you're gonna move fast enough is to use that ball! You're gonna need to stay on it the whole race! Not a problem, because you know... Don't say it! That's how I roll! Oh, seriously? So it's like, like one of these sense. types of things. If I do it correctly, I can do it. I just have to move the camera and not fly. So, um, yeah, just go. Let's do this. And up the stairs. Let's just go and keep doing this. And yes, I know how to do this. Okay, let's go do this. Just move the camera. If I can just move the camera. This is not even a good challenge. It's like, I get what I need to do, it's just why they want me to do something like this, I just don't understand. But it's something that I need to do. Okay, wait a sec, and now go. Wait a sec, don't want to get too hurt. Okay, here, and then around. Because I, I am going to keep following the arrows just because that's what I sort of have to do in these races, so... Make some sense. Okay, go this way. Make sure that I don't fall off the thing that because I really do not want to fall. Then and I got it. shoot because there ain't even no man around these parts can stand up to me I see what you mean I can barely stand you myself but if you're scared of losing I understand <laughs> well I just won the competition so you're too late but I'll tell you what I'll make you a deal you just go right ahead sweet thing if you can beat my score you get this here trophy but if you lose you gotta give me a kiss. What do you say? Ay, this guy's breath smells like fermented gym socks. Carbolina, we don't have a choice. All right, I'll take your wager. But you better get ready to hand over that trophy. And you better get ready for some serious lip wrestling. <laughs> Uh, of course, so I just... Oh, okay, so I have to make sure that... Okay, so I have to do this quickly, but Carmelita does not like to go fast in shooting. I get that that's what I need... Okay, that's why it's probably called challenge. Okay, you... Okay, not doing so hot with just trying to avoid the good guys. Okay, just keep firing, and I can do this, I know that for sure. It's just the speed of what I have to do it at is not easy. What the? This ain't happening. It's like some kind of magic trick. The only thing disappearing is your trophy, Red Eye. Way to go, Carbolita. Now grab that key. Okay, so we got a slide this time, and what do we do? Like, what are we going to do? Are we going to try to go and do the rail system now? Because that's what we need to do to throw off the train so then we can get the van back so then we can go and time travel back to wherever we need to go to. Or not back to, but forward or something. Like, we need to time travel with this is all that we need to do. I don't know where or when we're gonna go, but we gotta go somewhere in time to help uh, Cooper out. 
Okay, eyes front, everyone. The clock is ticking on this one, so we don't have time to monkey around. Toothpick's gold train is already rolling, and with the incorporation of our van, it's virtually impossible to stop. Thankfully, Tennessee was able to divert the train's route, which gives us the chance we need to catch it. First, Murray, you're going to get the van back. It's positioned near the rear of the train, acting not unlike a booster rocket. It's going to take your considerable fighting skills just to reach it. The catch is that it's being secured with a set of special magnetic locks, which can only be broken by someone of your immense strength. Once the van is free, you'll be able to catch the train and pick each of us up as we complete our tasks. Carmelita, you and I will tackle the next set of cars. I need you to use your peerless marksmanship and cover me while we make our way forward. It won't be easy. The train is crawling with guards and they'll be gunning for both of us. Our goal is to reach a computer terminal near the middle of the train where I'm going to do a little hacking. As we already know, Toothpick cannot stand high-pitched frequencies, particularly whistles. So I'll reroute the power and control of the steam whistles on the train engine. Something tells me this will come in handy when we finally reach him. Sly and Tennessee, you're up next. To ensure we stop Toothpick, we'll need to cover all possible escape routes. So Sly, you'll take the roof of the train. Tennessee, you'll move through the cars, where we should be able to reclaim your gold along the way, but your gunslinging will definitely be put to the test. You both should reach the engine around the same time, where you can take Toothpick down. The rest of us will catch up with you in the van. One last thing, don't forget we're a team, and that's the only way we're going to be able to pull this off. Everyone needs to execute their part of the plan perfectly, if we're going to get the van, steal the gold, and stop Toothpick. Now let's move out! Um, exactly what do I do? Oh, do I go over to here and do something like it doesn't seem- Oh, so I have to take out these enemies and make sure that I don't run into the electrical stuff because if I do, then that's not going to be good. But how do I hit if I can't get close enough to the electricity to do it? Like, each time I get electrocuted and it's like- what? What? Oh, I have to come over to here, do this, and then throw. Makes sense. I just have to do it correctly. Okay, one more. Okay, can we not? I have one more I have to do. Okay, seriously, that didn't do anything. It's garbage, but anyway, that's just... Okay. take out all the enemies make sure that I can do this and do it okay can we do this without getting hurt because that would be fantastic and yeah I got hurt by a TNT block 
Okay, so yeah, Carmelita is going to be something that I'm going to be playing as in the rest of the game, I guess, because that's what it just seems like. With your shooting and my hiding, we make a great team. Now to jack that terminal. All right. Yes, I jack the terminal by doing this if I can. Okay, how do I do it? Okay, so I need to have exploding ammo. I guess. How do I do it again? Oh, that's how. Duh. So I have to do this correctly. Put that there. Now walk away and just go. Yes. It's oh, now time to hack. Fly, the whistles are the key. Of course. What do I have to do here? Okay, I, I just have to do. Okay, so I have to go and shoot with like the quick shot and do what I need to do there and make sure that I don't get spotted here. So yeah, I just have to make sure that while here I am able to do this. Okay, can I? Thank you. See, not exactly, not exactly, not exactly. Can okay, so I need to go back over to here. And let's just do this because I know that if uh, not exactly, I did not want to go and get hurt right there. So, yep. And now I just fire there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna die anyway. And I see what I have to do. I have to make. Okay, I got it. Faster, Murray. You got it, Chung. Bullseye! Great job, Tennessee! We'll keep this safe for now. Great! Keep moving forward, Tennessee! No, duh, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. If you can just let me do that, that would be fantastic. Okay, let's just keep moving forward as we need to. And, okay, more of the electrical stuff that we need to deal with. But at least the here, I can just do that, and that's going to be good. I just need to make sure that while doing this, I don't get electrocuted or hurt, because if I get electrocuted or hurt, I may have to retry it. No, duh, that's what you're gonna do anyway, because that's what the part of the game that I'm gonna have to do. You're gonna do it anyway, so... Where does Sly come into the picture, or does he not, and it's just him? Or does Sly just take him out? Why don't you bring your little runt self down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff? Oh, blast you! Tennessee Kid Cooper! I'm gonna lock you in the deepest, darkest hole, and that's going to throw away the key! Give it up, Toothpick! The fat lady is sung and you are done! Oh, am I? Yeah. Gun! No! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kid! Lou Paradox sends his regards! Adios, kitchen! Relax, pal. I'll take care of this. Okay, so I see what I need to do with Sly. It's okay. all over, Cooper! Break out the tail bird costume! Sly, watch those 
laser fly! Why does everyone use laser? Like this, here's our stuff. Why? We got a real problem. I think I just took care of that, Bentley. No, why? The train is headed for a broken bridge. I'm guessing that wasn't part of the plan. Why? You have to get off that train. Jump to the van. Murray, hit the brakes. They're not working! And I can't shut down the rockets! What? You idiots! You call this a plan? Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I knew I should have had you send me back to Paris. Oh, I can't believe it's going to end like this! What in our nation are they doing? And I was just wondering where that golden got to. Bentley! Sorry, Murray. This has to work! Here goes nothing! As the van hurtled into the ravine, it felt like we were in slow motion. The thought that our adventures were over flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. Then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace, and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives, but now we had no idea where we were headed. We held on as the van was sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, when? Things weren't going very well. We'd landed somewhere, from the looks of it, prehistoric. I was slightly concerned when Bentley broke out the dinosaur repellent, but that was the least of my worries. The crash landing had damaged the van, so the time machine wasn't working properly. Not only was traveling back to Paris impossible, but we couldn't even raise Dimitri on the transceiver. Also, we still had no idea how the Paradox had managed to develop his own time machine. And that was a scary thought. Carmelita was still really hot about things. I just wanted a chance to explain, to tell her how sorry I was for getting her mixed up in all of this. Before we had a chance to talk, she stormed off in a rage. I tried going after her, but I figured that wasn't the best idea. Our conversation would have to wait, at least until she holstered that pistol. We decided the first order of business was figuring out where and when we were. And then, how we were going to repair the van. Otherwise, we'd have to get used to living in a cave, permanently. Of course, we're now back here and everything. And at least we now know who is the time travel person, who's the skunk and everything, the paradox and everything. So that's going to be interesting to figure out. And it's going to be kind of interesting seeing 
Sly Cooper's first ancestor and how they start thieving and everything because they are back when the dinosaurs are, so that's kind of interestingly cool. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, of course, just because I've just defeated another big boss and I've gotten back what we needed to get back. We did what we needed to do and yeah, but anyway, I am just going to go and end this episode here and I'm just going to go see ya. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give me a point, subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.